This time I'm going to try some of the larger numbers to work with. We'll start with what looks like 50 in decimal or in binary. So here I have two, no fours, no eights. I have a 16 and a 32. Plus 16 plus 32. So 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 2 is 50. If I do this with 62 in octal, well, 2 in octal is 2 in decimal. The 6 in octal becomes 6 times 8, which is 48, plus 2 is 50 in decimal. Going the other way, have 32 in hexadecimal. 2 in hexadecimal is also 2 in decimal. The 3, though, is 3 times 16. 3 times 16 is 48. 48 plus 2 is 50 again. And I can try this for something really, really large. I can use that 100,000 at the I can use the 100,000 at the bottom. So here I've got 1, 000. So this time I'm going to have some really big decimal numbers to work with. No 1s, no 2s, no 4s, no 8s, no 16s. So I'll start with a 32. No 64s, I have a 128. No 256s, here's a 512. 1024. 2048, 4096. 8192. 16384. Now I have what would normally be 32K and 64K. If you haven't memorized all of these exactly, you'll probably, then you'll probably end up doing some multiplication. So here I had 16, 384. If I multiply this by 2, 8, 16, 16. So I have, this is a 32768, and then I need this 64K term. Which is actually 65,000. So now I'm going to add up all of these numbers, and I should come out with 100,000. So 2 plus 8 is 10, 12, 16, 24, 30. So we're off to a good start. 3, 6, 12, 14, 15, 17, 20. 7, 14, 19, 20. 7, 7, 9, 10. 1, 7, 10. So my result there is 100,000. And I can do this for the other two methods as well. They're just going to be bigger numbers because I've got... What the heck? Do this. So for the octal, so for the octal, I have 303, 240. So I have 0, 
plus 4 times 8 plus 2 times 8 squared. 2 times 8, squ 8 squared is 64. Now I'm starting to get bigger numbers. Now I have 3 times 8 cubed. Zero times eight to the fourth, but three times eight to the fifth. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is figure out what are these, what is the eight to the, what is the eight cubed and the eight to the fifth. So eight cubed is just sixty-four times eight. Eight times four is thirty-two. Eight times six. 6 times 8 is 48, plus 3 gives me 51. So I have 3 times 5, 12. And then I have 8 to the 5th, which means I'll multiply this by 64. 2 times 4 is 8. 4, 6. I see 6, all right. Four times five is twenty. Six times two is twelve. Six times one plus one is seven. Six times five is thirty. It's me eight. Arithmetic. <sighs> Eight, seven, two, three. Seven. Seven, sixty, eight. Let's go back and five, twelve. Start this over again because I obviously bought something in there. So four times, and I have to erase that part too. Four times two is eight. Four times one is four. Four times five is 20. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 6 times 5 is 30. So I have 8, 6, 7, 2, 3. So I got the 32, 7, 68 that I saw before. I have 3 times 2, 7, 68. So now I have all of my terms in simple numbers. I need to do some multiplication and some addition. 4 times 8 is 32. 2 times 64 is 128. 3 times 5, 12, the 1536. Writing down two is easy. Thirty six. Then I've got the three times thirty two seven sixty eight. So if I write that over here.
3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 gives me 20. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and 3 times 3 is 9. So now I have 90. So now I have 98. 304, adding 1536, 128, and 32 together. So 2 plus 8 gives me 10, plus 6 plus 4 gives me 20, 2, 5, 7, 10, 1, 4, 9, 10, 1, 9, 10, and 1 plus 9 is also 10. So there I get 100,000 again. I'm getting the same result out, even though I'm starting from a different base. And I'm just not going to do next decimal because I've already written all over this thing. 